Hey guys, it's Melanie, and uh, today I am being joined by two pugs. We have uh, both Penelope and Alfie here. I'm hoping that they're going to behave themselves. Um, we'll find out very quickly. I don't think this is going to go well. <laughs> I might be doing some editing here. All right, you guys. So on Tuesday, you will have seen my first sniff impressions, if you will, of the new Kringle... Uh, spring summer tumbler jar releases if you missed that video I will link that down below in the description box where I will also put a link to where you can shop with Kringle as well as a discount code that you can use on um, the fragrances that I am showing you today if they're still in stock um, as well as the new spring and summer releases from um, both the tumbler jar line as well as the country candle line so um, that information like I said will be in the description box down below today we are going to talk about the Kringle reserve candles that I purchased so these are not PR I paid for these myself I did get multiples of some of these scents because just based on the fragrance notes I assumed that I was going to really enjoy these particular scents. Um, there were a lot of gourmand scents that were released in this reserve drop this last go around, and I love gourmand scents, and so I kind of went a little bit ham with these. Um, I did not order all of the scents. When I am spending my own money on candles, I typically tend to purchase um, and gravitate towards the things that I think I'm going to enjoy the most. And that's the reason why I always appreciate when companies do send PR, because oftentimes they are sending things that I wouldn't necessarily purchase myself. And so it gives me a chance to review things that are not normally featured on my channel. Um, she's so sweet. <laughs> I, Penny is the type of dog that will just stare at you for like hours. We'll just look deep into your eyes. It's the sweetest thing. She's such a good girl. Um, but yeah, so that's why I appreciate getting PR candles because if I don't know that I'm really going to love something, it's, I, I will admit it is harder for me to spend my money on it. So t sometimes I get re requests to review specific scents or specific candles that may not necessarily be something that I love and I just I don't know I mean if I'm gonna blow my own money on stuff I I have to pretty much have to have a guarantee that I'm gonna love it because I'm also not the person that is going to like bother returning things like I'm just gonna end up gifting those things out and um, yeah while I don't mind gifting things to friends and family I you know that's just also a lot of money <laughs> so Anyway, you guys, I wanted to let you know that several of the Kringle Reserve uh, scents have already sold out. And I want to really quickly run through the fragrances that are already sold out because I have, I unfortunately have a few of those here in this haul. I'm still going to do in-depth reviews. Uh, there is a chance that Kringle could pour more. There is a chance that they could just choose to re-release these scents again in the future and um, yeah, I just, I like to do post burn reviews on pretty much everything that I purchase or that is sent to me. So, um, even though you can't get these right now, um, I, I still want to do the review just, I don't know, for posterity's sake, I guess. <laughs> All right. So what is currently sold out? Oh, you guys triple chocolate sold out already. I didn't pick that one up. <laughs> I did pick up sinful, um, juicy strawberry, Mac, what they're calling macaroons, but it is macarons. Um, that one sold out. Uh, it uh, the jelly donut. Jelly donut was actually the first to sell out, and um, I kind of figured that it might. So I picked up several of the jelly donut myself. Um, I'm really excited to smell these, you guys. I have not stuck my nose in these. I hardly ever do this where I like leave candles just sitting and I, I don't start playing with them right away because I want to film a video like it's really hard for me to do that so but I did it for this one thank you thank you for applauding 
<laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and go through the fragrances that I opted to pick up. I'm going to read through the fragrance notes, the descriptions. I'm going to let you guys know what my first sniff impressions are. And then I'm gonna get to burning these bad boys. I have a lot of new Kringle candles to burn because like I said, the spring tumblers, I've already got those lit all around the house right now. So waiting for those to kick in and start smelling those, but then these are next on the list. All right, let's start out with Sinful. All right, so this has what I'm assuming is a chocolate cupcake with a chocolate buttercream frosting. And it looks like there's a little caramel plopped on top. So the reserve jars are a little different, obviously. So these are black. Um, Kringle does customize all of these jars and they use the, what they're calling premium fragrance oils. The particular fragrance oils that they use for this collection are, I think much more refined. They're just more expensive for them to purchase even at wholesale prices. So the reserve line candles usually are like, uh, slightly higher than the regular releases by I think a couple dollars how much these are 3150 right but like I said you can use the 15% off on these yeah they're 3150 so sinful let's let's pull it up actually while I'm here where you got sinful sinful is not sold out so if you're interested in this one you should still be able to pick it up so all right here we go <laughs> Ooh, okay. I'm smelling some chocolate. I'm smelling some hazelnut. And I'm picking up like a salty caramel note. So let's see what the fragrance says here. All right, Sinful Whipped Praline merges with creamy peanut butter and delicious chocolate morsels. Whipped hazelnut, praline are the top notes. Creamy peanut butter, Chocolate morsels are your mid note, mid notes. Your base notes are vanilla bean, woods, and sugared musk. Yes, I smell chocolate. I definitely, that caramel is really hitting me. What's funny is I, <laughs> there's no caramel in here, but I smell caramel. I also get that peanut butter for sure. And then the nuttiness. Oh, this has some really nice nuttiness to it, you guys. This is... I, I struggle with chocolate fragrances. I only picked up one of these because typically chocolate to me can get cloying pretty quickly. Um, I love a good chocolate candle, but I also find that after I burn a chocolate candle for a few hours, I am definitely like ready to move on to something else. It's kind of fun just to have for like a certain part of your day, but it, this is not something that I would want to burn all day long. Um, I wanted to try one of the chocolates. This appealed to me a little bit more than the triple chocolate. And um, not that I can get my hands on the triple chocolate anyway, because like I said, that one sold out, but this one is still available. If you like a chocolate scent and you like the addition of some hazelnut, some peanut butter, a touch of like a salty, like salted caramel almost, I think you're really gonna like this one. I do think as far as chocolate scents go, this is done quite nicely, but I do think that I will probably burn this for a couple hours and then like be ready to like lighten it up a little bit and um, maybe relight it the next day or something. This one will be good in small doses. Small doses. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. What do we, oh, okay. Let's, let's do this one. This is Dalgona. Um, who has made a Dalgona coffee before? So the way that you make this drink is you take instant coffee, I think it's equal parts instant coffee and granulated sugar, and then just like a touch of water, and then you whip it. And it whips into this foam that you see right here. And it's just this intense, like sweet, frothy coffee foam. Then you uh, scoop that over the milky beverage of your choice. I do oat milk, <laughs> but you can do almond milk, you can do cow's milk, you can macadamia, you can milk anything apparently. So just a milk of your choice, mix it up, and it is a delicious like kind of, I guess, cold coffee treat. 
I love Dalgona. Um, I don't make it super often, but when I do, it is something that is always really yummy and unique. And I was super curious to see uh, Kringle's take on this one because I have had this drink before. So um, let me go ahead and pull Dalgona up and then let's smell it. Boy, these lids are really on here, aren't they? <laughs> oh, it smells just like a Dalgona. <laughs> Ooh, I'm gonna have to have one of these this afternoon. I think I'm gonna go ahead and make some Dalgona coffee later on. Okay, uh, the warm, intense aroma of cocoa bean is paired with dark chocolate, the rich, sweet aroma of vanilla, sugar cane, and warm, spicy notes of cassia bark. Okay. The top notes are cocoa bean, the mid notes are dark cocoa and cassia bark, the base is vanilla bean and sugar cane. So the, the cocoa bean definitely does come across with like that touch of coffee. When you mix up the Dalgona, it does give you some like slight chocolate type notes for sure. This smells maybe a little bit more chocolate than it does coffee but I can tell that there's some coffee that's like underlying in here. There's a creaminess as well, which would be that, you know, milk beverage of your choice. And it's very sweet. Like it's a milky, creamy sweetness um, with that like whipped instant coffee and sugar mixed in. I really like this. I like this a lot and this is like the perfect candle to light up first thing in the morning when you're getting your coffee ready. This is going to be my morning candle for the next several weeks. I really like that a lot. I got two of them. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> I did buy two of those up front because I thought that I would enjoy it. So that's good, but it is still available right now. It is not sold out. So if you want to try Dalgona, definitely give it the old college try. All right, so now let's move on to After Dark. All right, I gotta get back to, man, the internets are slow at my house today. Thank you, Comcast, for sucking. Our like internet bill with Comcast is insanely expensive and I swear our internet is so slow <laughs> and it goes out all the time kind of Comcast is on my crap list okay dark as night I got one of these I did not know how I was gonna feel about this one but I wanted to at least get one that was a little bit out of my comfort zone now this one is slightly in my comfort zone because this does have musk patchouli and amber in it so I figured there's probably a good chance that I was going to enjoy this one I was hoping that it was kind of a perfumey scent so let's let's read about it dark as night an autumn spice accord blends with patchouli infused mysterious woods and the bottom notes are wrapped in warm amber top notes are sparkling bergamot sorry sparkling bergamot accord crisp lemon and mandarin uh, the mid notes are autumn spice accord, cinnamon, clove, and nutmeg. The base is patchouli infused woods, warm amber, and golden musk. All right. Please be good. Please don't suck. <laughs> oh yeah, it's it's. This is perfume. This smells like a perfume. Little more masculine than I was expecting it to be, but I I smell the bergamot. Hello, there you are. Yes, uh, lemon, mandarin. There's a definite like citrus, almost borderline cologne, cologne citrus. Yeah, definitely a more masculine citrus note if there is such a thing. Um, autumn spice accord and cinnamon and clove, nutmeg. Yeah, I mean, there is for sure a touch of spice to this one. This is not a spring fragrance at all. In fact, I feel like I want to save this one for the fall. Um, but technically, I guess we're still in winter right now. I'll, I'll still go ahead and burn this one a couple times to review it. 
but this is one that I could see myself burning more in the fall months as a bedroom type of scent. That's really what I thought this one would lend itself best to in terms of like a location in my house. Definite bedroom scent. I love this patchouli. Whatever patchouli they used, um, please use more of that in other scents like this. That's really lovely. Yeah. This, this is nice. This is really pleasant for what it is. I will say, if you don't normally gravitate towards scents like this, be a little careful when you're ordering this one. Um, it definitely is very perfumey. So this is not a gourmand. This is not a fruity scent. This is, I mean, even though it has those citrus notes, I would not even put this in like necessarily like a citrus category. Yeah. But it's, it, this is very, very pleasant. I kind of like the label on this one. It's got some lightning on it. Kind of simple, but pretty. I do like that. Um, okay, here we go. Let's do it, you guys. Let's do it. Let's, let's talk about my one disappointment. <laughs> it's already sold out. It is not a disappointment. I am anticipating loving this scent, but... I really wish they would have gotten the correct name for the label on this one. Um, this is what they're calling macaroons. However, um, this is a French pastry. This is not a coconut like haystack cookie. Um, those coconut haystack cookies are what I grew up calling macaroons. Um, this is a French pastry, which is a macaron totally different cookies this has uh two like essentially little cookies <laughs> that are that have a cream filling of some kind in between them so there's lots of different flavors for macaroons typically you get like an almond base like they use almond flour for the cookie part and then the filling can be anything from like a lemon custard to strawberry pistachio salted caramel um raspberry banana like you can fill a macaron with whatever flavor floats your boat right um i've even had some savory ones at weddings that were kind of interesting don't love those i prefer like the sweeter macarons so like the fruitier fruitier flavors are definitely my favorite i was so excited to see what this one smells like but definitely wish that they would have called it what this is which is a macaron so let's smell it Oh, she's good. Okay. Well, I will forgive them because it smells good. And I do have a couple of these, which makes me glad. Okay. <laughs> macaroons. The mouth-watering appeal of freshly baked pastry <laughs> macaroons layered with sweet highlights of vanilla sugar and touches of blushed fruits. Your top notes are pastry fruit, pastry and fruit. Your mid notes are sweet and strawberry the base is vanilla and butter yes pastry it's there fruitiness it's kind of almost like a little bit of like a generic fruitiness like i can get the strawberry for sure but i also feel like it can also maybe come across as like a raspberry as well it just it smells like a red berry to me I do get a touch of almond in this. It's not listed in the scent notes, but I feel like I can almost smell like the almond cookie part, but I feel like the filling is more the, um, the emphasis here with this scent. This is so, this is delicious, you guys. As far as like gourmand scents go, this is right up my alley. It is authentic. It's sweet. Um, uh, it, it makes my mouth water. Like, it, it just smells real. Um, vanilla and butter. Yeah, definitely some vanilla. And it does smell quite rich. Like, this is, like, a very, like, concentrated, rich pastry type of scent. This is yummy. I'm really glad I thought to order a couple of these because... I just, I knew it was going to sell out. So anything that I thought would sell out, I ordered multiples of. So I wish that Kringle 
would consider pouring more of these and they may I just I don't know this for sure but I'm wondering if the ones that sold out very quickly if it's kind of like putting a little bug in their heads if you will in terms of hey people seem to like these maybe we can crank out some more I would love for them to crank out some more if you could if you could crinkle please do it all right juicy strawberry I am the most nervous about this one and despite being nervous about it I still bought a couple um this I think was actually the second one to sell out so all right let's go ahead and read through the description here juicy strawberry okay juicy garden strawberry is picked right off the vine harmonized with some more garden green elements such as parsley and basil this is where it kind of started to like throw me off a little bit when I was reading through the notes and um enveloped on the bottom with oak moss and earthy geranium notes okay top notes are lemon leaf tomato vine and parsley mid notes are juicy strawberries sheer basil and violet leaf the base is oak moss geranium and musk oh you guys i am so nervous Oh, and I like it. Okay, we're good. We're good. It, I was afraid this was going to smell like parsley. This doesn't smell like parsley. However, I will say this is not the sweetest strawberry. This is, there's, there's green in here for sure. Like that tomato vine, like I can totally pick up on that. But somehow it works. I know a tomato is actually a fruit, so I don't know. I just, I still call it a vegetable. <laughs> basil yeah there's some basil in here too I miss my basil plant I let it die outside <laughs> it yeah just I'm gonna have to get a new one <laughs> actually meant to bring it in this year there's a lot of green to this but there's also that like really nice juicy strawberry note that kind of balances out the green and I get that there's definitely geranium in here <laughs> I actually I quite like geraniums um I don't necessarily they're not my favorite flower but they are one of those flowers that is like a memory trigger for me because my oma grew geraniums in her yard and um like every spring I would help her like plant all the geraniums and it was just something that like her and I shared together and so that smell is like that's a very positive memory for me and I can absolutely pick that up in here I wonder if that's going to intensify when I light this up. That'll be, I'm very curious to see this one lit up. I, I just think it's going to transform a little bit and I'm very curious to see how it does transform. But I'm pleasantly surprised. Pleasantly surprised. All right. Is this, yeah, okay. So this is the last one I picked up and this was the first one to sell out and it's jelly donut, you guys. Um, I got, I got three of this one. I really hope they make more. I, I, as soon as these popped up, I was like jelly donut, just to get in there. I knew I was going to love it. I love donut scents, um, especially that filling. This is my favorite type of donut. Um, oh, I don't have to show it. I can show you the label here. Derp. <laughs> jelly donut. Yeah, this is my favorite type of donut. The ones that are filled with like the the berry filling. Oh, so and that powdered sugar. All right, let's see. What do they say? Jelly donut. <laughs> this is interesting. The pampering essence of <laughs> gently fried pastry dough filled with sweet raspberry jam, juicy blackberry, creamy vanilla, and a hint of sugared citrus. So the top notes are pastry and fruit. The mid are raspberry and blackberry. There's also citrus. Um, the base is butter and vanilla. All right, let's do it. Get out. Get out. Let me smell you. Oh, I'm so glad I got. I'm so glad. This is. This is really strong on cold sniff too. This is the strongest on cold sniff out of all of these. I don't pick up fried dough on cold sniff, but I get that raspberry and blackberry filling 
first thing that hits you. There is like a dough note, but it's not a fried dough. Maybe I need, it needs fire. <laughs> That's what it needs. I'm hoping that that transforms into that slightly greasy fried note that I love so much in donut candles. Um, sugared citrus, yeah, that's definitely, yeah, yeah, that it's, there is citrus and this is very sweet. Like this is a very intensely sweet candle. I would almost put this in the possibly borderline cloying, um, potentially headache inducing category for people that are sensitive to very intense sweet fragrances. This one is, I have a feeling she's gonna be a powerhouse and I wanna light her up now. Um, but yeah, there was, I was not passing this up. Absolutely not. Let's see, is this one? Yeah, these are just really strong. <laughs> these are really strong, you guys. Okay, so on cold sniff, we have a ton of winners. And admittedly, this drop of the reserve candles has been my favorite out of all the ones that he has done. Um, back last year at one point, um, I kind of got a little bit of a preview of some of the scents that were coming down the pipeline for this particular release. And I was so excited for so many of these fragrances. And as soon as they dropped, like I jumped on my computer and ordered. Um, they do have an option on the website to put your email down for email notifications in case it comes back in stock. I'm definitely gonna reach out to Mick and see how he feels about doing a re-release of this particular collection. I feel like it's selling out quite quickly and um, I think he needs to make more. I really do. I'm not sure what amounts they released originally of all of these. Um, there are still some of the other reserve candles from previous drops left over. Um, the Midnight Garden, the Splash, the Late Night. Um, let's see, anything else? Manhattan. I, I did not care for Manhattan that if you are looking for a candle that smells like pure booze get the Manhattan um, yeah so the other scents that were available were night bloom um, sweet and savory that was another one where I was like uh, I don't I don't think so if you got sweet and savory will you tell me what you get from it I don't typically like those yeasty bread type scents i know a lot of people love bread scents but uh, i don't know they don't really float my boat um but yeah there there are still some of the previous releases on here as well um so if you're interested in those those are available but i will be linking kringle down below so if you want to purchase from what is left here you can definitely get 15 percent off with my code um i will send a message to mick today and see if he's thinking about potentially re-releasing some of these at some point and i will try to let you guys know in the weekly home fragrance roundup if um if that is the case so anyway let me know what reserve candles you picked up let me know your thoughts if you've received yours uh and i'm gonna get to burning so look for some post burn reviews coming up here shortly and um i appreciate you guys being here all right take care Toodaloo.